this time if you haven't already please release all bus riders Good morning gladiators we are going to be finishing up our signpost starting on day two uh, we'll be going over tough question words of the wiser again and again please take notes where you started mm -hmm. on day one um, read the examples and use the hashtags when annotating so a tough question when you're reading and the character asks himself or herself a really difficult question you stop and you ask yourself what does this question make me wonder about this question will reveal maybe an internal or an external conflict and might give you ideas about what will happen later in the story or it could provide some insight into the character's traits We'll be using hashtag T question mark, or you can do hashtag TQ for tough questions. So when a character has to find the answer that will change the way he or she looks at the world or the choices that they make. When a character is pressured to do something he or she knows is wrong, they may ask themselves, am I strong enough to say no? Should I choose right from wrong? Authors often show tough questions in a straightforward, why don't they talk to me more? Why is everyone treating me this way? Um, in a straightforward way. Words from the wiser. When you're reading and a character who's probably older or a lot wiser makes the main character, takes the main character aside and gives serious advice. What, you should stop and ask yourself, What's the life lesson and how might it affect the character? The lesson learned might just have offered insight into the theme of the text. So we will hashtag WW for words of the wiser. Take a moment and watch this clip from The Lion King and maybe ask yourself how might this advice help Simba later in the story. The last signpost is again and again. When you're reading and you notice a word, phrase, object, or situation mentioned over and over, you should stop and ask yourself, why does this keep showing up again and again? Another word for this is repetition. The answers will tell you about the theme and conflict, or they might foreshadow what will happen later. The object could symbolize importance in the plot. Repetition is a literary device used often in poetry, and we'll be using the hashtag AA. So let's look at some examples of again and again. What lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny compared to what lies within us. And so Emerson uses the word lies over and over again to emphasize that our past um, and our present or our future is tiny compared to what is within us and who we are inside. Bill Clinton used repetition um, when he is quoted to be saying, when there is talk of hatred, let us stand up and talk against it. When there is talk of violence, let us stand up and talk against it. And so he uses the word talk over and over to make this point that we need to use our words um, for good. What is repeated and did it effectively draw, effectively draw emphasis and importance to the message? So um, if you click here, you will find the text for Fish Cheeks. This is the audio, if you would like to um, have it read to you. I'd like for you to be alert for signpost, all of them. Contrast, contradiction, words of the wiser, again, again, tough question, memory moment, and aha moment. Please take notes in your LMB using the hashtags and the event or dialogue for fish cheeks. And complete the signpost matching exit ticket in Schoology. That's all we have for today, gladiators. If you have any questions or need any help, please let me know. Have a wonderful wonderful day.